It might be true that Texas isn't used to getting a lot of snow, but no, this is not how we usually clear off our roads. A television station in Indiana showed this video of a Dallas street crew dragging a pallet behind a city truck to clear the street, and they joked that this is the only way that we can clear snow. Just adding insult to injury, Bob, after you our know, rough week. That, what they could have used, <laughs> a few cinder blocks, really would have chewed up that ice a little bit. But uh, there's no doubt about it. The roads for four straight days were just brutal across the area. But it's also amazing what a little bit of Texas sunshine will do. Melt that ice and snow very, very quickly. Where is that storm that brought us the anywhere from two to seven, eight inches of snow? Well, it's in the northeast right now, giving some rainfall to places like Boston and even some thunderstorms going on, uh, dropping some heavy rain on top of two feet of snow. Could be some flooding in parts of New England. But take a look at this. We've got uh, another little system coming at us out of the northwest, and it will be here during the day tomorrow, during Super Bowl Sunday. But the more I look at these temperatures around the country, as I mentioned, it can uh, warm up relatively quickly. The upper level temperatures are warming everywhere around the nation. That's why our lows this morning were so bitterly cold, 17. But now look at the temperatures all around the country, barely below freezing. And the air that we're talking about moving in tomorrow is only up here. So the more I look at this, I think the profile, the temperature profile in the atmosphere tomorrow will be such that the light rain in the afternoon, and we're just talking scattered light rain, may mix with or change to snow for a short period of time tomorrow evening. Temperatures will be above freezing. I'm not looking for any big storm during the day tomorrow, but temperatures will start off probably in the 40s around noon and then slowly drop to the 30s. We're already seeing the clouds beginning to move into northwestern parts of the area, but notice temperatures pretty mild. I said earlier, I still have some fog in the forecast. We're going to watch these relative humidities. The higher they go, the more moisture we get in the atmosphere. And again, there could be some patchy fog if you're going out to one of the big Super Bowl parties overnight tonight. Be on the lookout for that. 41 and 32, your temperature and your dew point after a chilly start. Fifth day of teens. Unbelievable. 54 the high this afternoon. A cool night with increasing clouds. Tomorrow, again, I think mainly just some light, spotty rain any time from late in the afternoon through tomorrow evening. But as the cooler air filters on down, it'll mix with a little bit of snow, mainly from the Metroplex on to the north. I'm not looking for any accumulation. However, the more I look at the extended forecast, Monday and Tuesday, no problems. Westerly wind will warm us up. Bitter cold air is going to be moving out of the Arctic once again. It arrives Tuesday night into Wednesday, just as another storm swings through from the west. And we could be setting the stage for another rain to sleet to snowstorm on Wednesday. We'll keep you posted. Clouds again late tonight, patchy fog, 30 to 35 for tomorrow. Just a little bit of light rain, maybe mixing with snow late in the day. Temperatures dropping. Uh, not too bad, though. We're not talking about a drastic drop. This is going to be a drastic drop. 40s to the low 20s on Wednesday, just like we had, but it's not going to last long. Notice the warm-up as we head into early next week, and I will keep you posted on all of this.